entertained! Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? What's up guys, welcome back to Titus Actual Gaming. Here's the big skip you guys have been waiting for. How to get to the mountaintops of the giants without killing any bosses. If you find this video useful, do me a big favor and smash that like button. Let's dive right in. So you made a fresh character. It's very important that you start off here at the Castle Ward Tunnel. You need to grab this side of Grace for something we're going to do later. Very important that you grab the Castle Ward Tunnel side of Grace. Then we're going to head over to the east side of Limgrave and hit Fort Height for the Bloody Slash and the Dectus Medallion. It's very important that you grab Bloody Slash. I'll show you why later, but make sure that you kill this knight and grab Bloody Slash while you're here. Also, don't forget to hit the chest and grab your Dectus Medallion. You need to go to Altus Plateau early and you're going to need both halves of the medallion to do that. So to make our way over to the other half of the medallion, we're going to go to the third church as usual. On the northern side of the church here, you just ride around the back. There's a small pond and to the right is a way gate. You're going to want to take that over to Caleb. And then once you get over to Caleb, as usual, you're going to want to ride south until you get down to Fort Farrah. Once you get over there, make sure you rest at a site of grace and go back to the round table. At the round table, head over to the Twin Maiden Husks and purchase a dagger. You want to take that dagger to it, the Bloody Slash Ash of War that we grabbed earlier off the night in Fort Height. This is a very important step. Make sure you do not skip this step. The affinity does not matter, but you need to have Bloody Slash on this dagger. Then we're going to head back to Fort Farrath, and we are going to run the gauntlet up to the Dectus Medallion for the right half. And now with both halves of the Dectus Medallion, we're going to go to the Grand Lift of Dectus and use the Medallion to go up to the Altus Plateau. Then you're going to start the ride across the Altus Plateau, where you're going to take the fork in the road down underneath the Draconic Tree Sentinel to the Ariza Side Tomb. You're going to rest at this side of grace just in case things don't work out the first time because they probably won't. And you're going to lower the resolution in your game as far as you comfortably can. You want the maximum amount of frames per second that you can get. So that means also lowering your settings to low if they're set on high. When you come out of the tomb, you're going to come down off this first little step down and you're going to stand close to the edge of the cliff. You want to line your compass up so it's just a hair to the left of east. You'll see on the first few attempts here, I was almost dead on east, so I actually needed to be a little bit to the left and you're going to perform a normal zip glitch. So here you'll see me align my compass a little bit more to the east, and then I look down, because looking at the ground should give you a stable 60 FPS. So you just line the compass up, look straight down, and then do a normal zip glitch. And if you don't know what a zip glitch is, I'm going to link a tutorial in the description. So as you can see, if you do the zip correctly, you end up on this rock just on the outskirts of the Forbidden Lands, within the limits of a stake of America. So I'll show you on the map what we just did. We zipped across from the Ariza side tomb, across an open void, to a part of a wall that we cannot climb, but we're within the range of a stake of America. So that means we can't jump down or we'll lose the range of the stake of America and end back at the last side of grace. So this is why we grab Bloody Slash. We can use Bloody Slash to remove all of our life so that we will die within the range of a stake of America. And if you do that, you will receive a prompt when you die, giving you the option to either spawn in at the stake of America or spawn in at the last side of grace. Well, obviously we want to spawn in at the Stake of America, because that Stake of America is in the Forbidden Lands. So when you get this prompt, just make sure you click Stake of America. If you do all of this, you will spawn in in the Forbidden Lands next to the Stake. Now it's not over though, because you don't have the Rolled Medallion to use the Lift of Rolled. So I'm going to show you what we need to do next. You see on the map here, we've still got some ground to cover to get from the Forbidden Lands up to the mountaintops of the Giants. So hop on your horse and you're going to ride up towards the Site of Grace for the Lift of Rolled. When Blackblade Kindred spawns, you just need to ride right past. Don't worry about it. You shouldn't die if you just keep riding. Try not to die so you don't have to do the zip glitch over again. Just ride past and come to the Site of Grace and immediately rest. Even if you were to die after touching the Site of Grace, but before you could rest at it, you would respawn at the Site of Grace. So just make sure you get the Lost Grace discovered and you're good. Make sure that you rest at the Site of Grace. It's very important not only to despawn Blackblade Kindred, but because this will not work if you do not rest at the Site of Grace. So after resting at the Site of Grace, right up to the Lift of Rolled, and what we're going to do is perform a normal wrong warp. Come stand in this area that I'm in, pull up your map, and find that Castleward Tunnel Site of Grace that I told you was really important to grab earlier. When you get to the Castleward Tunnel, you need to press Y on an Xbox controller or Triangle on a PlayStation controller. Then you press right stick to mark the Site of Grace. Now with the Castleward Tunnel as your only marked Site of Grace, with Y or Triangle you can toggle back and forth between marked Sites of Grace. So that means you can press the Map button and immediately double press the Y button to go straight to the Castleward Tunnel Site of Grace. Obviously it would be Triangle instead of Y on a PlayStation controller. So now just like a normal wrong warp, you would use your Memory of Grace to go to the last Site of Grace visited, click Yes, press your Map, Immediately press YY or Triangle Triangle to go to Castleward Tunnel and click OK. 
You want to click OK at the very last possible second while still getting the acknowledging sound. If you time it correctly, you'll end up right outside of Margit's fog door. You want to quit out as fast as possible. And when you load back in, you should be at the top of the Grand Lift of Rolled in the mountaintops of the Giants. If you press OK too early, too fast in the process, you'll end up at the site of Grace in the Castle Ward Tunnel. And if you're too slow and you don't get the acknowledging OK sound, then the memory of Grace is going to work as intended and you will go back to the Grand Lift of Rolled site of Grace. It has to be timed just right. But if you time it correctly, you'll now be in the mountaintops of the Giants without killing a single boss. This opens up all kinds of opportunities for challenge runs. I've been using it on my level 1 one-shot all bosses challenge runs. Again, if this helped you, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you have further questions, then head on over to my Discord and pop them in there. Or check my website, titustv.net. Thanks again for watching, guys, and stay dangerous.